All right, so let's take a look here at what we got to do. See if this thing can even possibly run. Or if it's just junk. So, I, I don't know. It's This is what I'm thinking here. Um, is Let's get the camera angle a little better here. Is up here, there's holes. It hasn't had an air cleaner on it. And how much water has gone down the carburetor. So, uh, you know, it's going to be hard to say. And we're going to try and turn it over. But let's do a real quick vacuum. Clean some of this mess out of here. Here's this thing here. It has an air cleaner thing. But that's it's missing the actual oil bath part of it. But those are always missing too, so that's kind of nice that it has it. Um, this is supposed to be a one, I think it's a 118. It's supposed to be a 1500, but it looks like a 40 horse to me. I don't know. What about these? Are these bigger than the regular one? This, the heat riser? looks different than the 40 horses I've worked on I think those are bigger so I don't know maybe it's an early 1500 it's what it's supposed to be um, then we also have some dirt in here I'm gonna kind of vacuum that out to you because this has been sitting at an angle and water's been in here so you clean that out <laughs> First thing we want to do is see if we can even turn this engine. But important, a, uh, a bummer is you can't get anything on that pulley uh, without the breast plate being off. So let's see if we loosen up some of these here. Let's try, let's try some free all. We may have to get the torch out just to do that. I don't know. We'll try this first and see what happens. I'll let this sit for a few minutes. Bring some free oil on all the breastplate bolts and bring you guys back in in just a second. Wow, that one came loose. I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna break off. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show everybody here while we're doing getting these off. I mean this one came off. Look at that. Let's see if this one comes off over here. Uh are we gonna be lucky now? I don't know. I can barely see. I'm gonna get some light in here. How's that? A little better lighting? Let's see. I can grab this one from the outside. It's a real tough area to work. Well, the first one came off easy. <laughs> Isn't that the way it usually works? Oh, there we go. That one came loose. And it's not rusty feeling. Not too bad. Oh, the one behind here. Can you even see that? How about that? Oh, that's loose. It's weird as rusty as this thing is, you would think that none of these bolts would come out. They're just like not even that bad. Well, it's got the one over here. It has all the, all the tins on it. It's weird. I still don't understand. Anybody know 
um, why it has really big heat risers. Those are bigger than most 40 horse ones that I remember. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Somebody will comment on it, hopefully. That one moved. Maybe I'll be lucky enough, it'll come off. Oh, this one's moving. This one's not easy. The last one, too. Wow. A whole bunch of rust down here, too. You guys can only see that. Alright, so we just barely got this one out. Save you guys some of the fight there. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we got the breastplate out. Put the thing in. You guys think it's going to break? <laughs> I'm saying probably. I did spray it. Ah, that one came out. Oh, uh, this one. It came out too. Yeah, look at all the rust falling off of it. Look at all the rust. Yeah. i to take this off. What do you guys think? Well, that one came out too. I don't know how that can be that rusty and still. I'm, I'm waiting for the rest of the van, rest of the uh, truck to just fall to the ground. <laughs> when I unbolt this, maybe that's holding it all together. Oh my god. It might almost be a savable piece. It's pretty rusty. I'll run it again. It's not like we're looking for a. We're not going to do like a, a a really big restoration. I think it'd be just way too expensive. It's a commercial vehicle. It's a commercial truck. We're trying to make it back original again. Now, the question is, will it even turn? <laughs> That's pretty much what I thought. I can take the bolt loose. It's not moving at all. Let's get you guys up a little closer. Maybe you can see. Let's try. How about that angle? Is that better? Show you guys how stuck it is. Anything move? I don't think so. I don't see any movement. Okay, let's pull the plugs out and see what's up. All right, let's see. Uh, yeah. yeah. Huh. Look at that. That's an old one. It says metal protectors. That, that's weird. Usually they have the little rubber thing right here. You see that? It's like the Baru brand ones. Baru. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I guess. European? I don't know. Oh, now this one's got the regular one. So, okay. So which one was the original? This one? Or this one? Anybody know? Interesting, interesting to know that. Let's pull out the plugs. See what happens. Let's do this in uh, a little bit of real time, right? Okay. Oh. It wasn't rusted shut. All right. 
Let's see what's in here. <sighs> Ooh. Look at that. That looks rusty, doesn't it? It's got an insert on it. It does? Yep. Insert. Time sort on the spark plug, too. Yeah. Oh, it has an insert on it. They came out with the plug. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at The insert came out with it. So Chris was pointing out. I couldn't really see because it's kind of dark in here. Look at that. Looks pretty rusty. I'll bring you guys back in in a second. So let's take a look at the spark plugs on this side. Doesn't look like there's any rust on this one. It looks like maybe it's just one cylinder that's rusted. And how's that one? We marble mystery oiled up that side. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to break it free. As rusty as this thing is, I got some serious pits in there. Yeah, see that one's just oily. Doesn't look bad. The one that was uh, that was bad was sleeved, and it had a champion spark plug. These have Bosch, so let's take a look at the oil. What do you guys think? Oh, let's see what do you think that looks like. Yeah, first look. Let's take a look. Yeah, all the dirt's on the bottom. You can see it looks pretty clean, right? Yeah, it looked clean. Let's try it again. But it doesn't mean anything. It, I, what I think is I, I want to pull the oil out because what happens, if you see it look, look like it's over full. And usually what happens is the water goes to the bottom and pushes the oil up. So it's always a good idea to take, take the oil out just to take a look at it. It looks like it's over full. So that tells me possibly that there's water in there. Let's pull it out and take a look. Go ahead and drain the oil. Well, hopefully you guys can see that okay. Trying to get the angle right. First look at the oil. Oh my gosh. Is it tight or is it just rusty? I feel like it's going to break off. <laughs> yeah. It's like this thing is low and it's just so hard to it's yeah, if you've never had a single cap, I've never had one, so I don't now I like I said I feel your pain guys. Your head's bumping, you're just it's just plus this basket above you. <laughs> what oh it's like, it's a big, it's a big rust nightmare right there. Uh, nothing. It's got, it's got, it's full of, uh, that tells you if, if it's got oil in it and it's full like that, that means you got to take the drain plate off. There's going to be a huge, like, gob of goop. I'll bring you guys back in. We'll take a couple of the bolts out. As soon as it starts to get loose, we'll take a look at it. Okay, we're on the last couple bolts here. Let's see what happens. What's happening with the action, guys? What's going to happen? See those comments? Who's guessing? You want the screwdriver? Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> okay. They were sitting right here. I got it. It's over on your side, I guess. Mm. Ah, ready for the splash? You have it all off? Yep. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, it's all above the screen, huh? Oh my gosh, wait till the screen is just gonna just. Cause maybe there's no oil in it. 
Why was it showing on the stick though? I don't know. Let's see the side. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Look at that. Let me get this up close. Oh. Wow. I can only see what you guys are seeing because I I'm not under there. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, dude. That was a big horror here. Oh, the case is eroded. Yep. Motor's wasted. Motor blow. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Did you guys want to see a motor blow? Comments. Motor blow. Oh, hell yeah. We can get this thing. This going. case is wasted. It's got a... It's got so much water in there that, uh... That... The, the all the magnesium you can see that's just falling out of there look at that look at the magnesium fall out wow well I guess I'm not going to worry about Marvel Mystery on this one that is nasty yeah, look at that that's the oh. there. there's the that's all the that's all like magnesium just eroded magnesium okay, so it happens to engines when they sit outside yeah, if you uh, you see a yard pile, you better buy it cheap, because <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of cases that are just totally eroded away, like this one. Have that one happen all the time. I've saved a couple of them, but when they weren't that bad, but this one's so bad you can just put your finger through the bottom of the case. That stuff smells like old gas. Oh man, that's nasty. Let's keep watching that. Nasty. What's that bag thing hanging there? Anybody got an idea what that is? What is that? Piece of plastic. Drive me nuts in the camera. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. You might want to see the teardown on this engine. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, oil's well, still dripping out of there. Man, it's just like hanging. It looks like stalactites hanging down. Huh. That's a wasted motor. Case is gone. No case left. Well, let's have some fun, you guys. Let's try something. Bring you guys back a little bit. Let's see if it turns. We're not going to fire it up, I'm sure. Well, maybe we will, actually. We'll fire it up, but... We'll take it apart first and make it so it turns and turn it into a motor blow. Kind of using the impact to kind of jar it loose. And nothing. One turn. Well, we've been evaluating what to do with it. Uh, <clears throat> I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna take this thing out and uh, tear it down. See what's the deal. What do you guys think? Should we do a tear down? You know, it's just like the motor is. See what we can save out of it. Um, it's kind of an odd engine in this one. It's 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 stale air which i think stale air was here in the u.s was 61 was stale air 62 and in, in germ in, in europe i don't know we're going to clean up the rest of this let's take a look at this rust in the frame here look at that all the way up just rusted out gone right up there look at that 
gone the whole back half of the frame so i think the whole entire frame all the way up is toast as i kind of figured so pretty expensive parts because the the reason i knew that is because the engine was raised up when we try to do something with it um get that out and we'll take a look at the inside of here behind uh you just have to figure out how to do it uh, how to get it out of here we'll do a quick cleanup and then we'll move on we'll show you that too I thought you guys would want to see this. <laughs> Look at that corner. It holds on, isn't it? Let's get a different camera angle here. Is that off? Yeah, I don't think there's anything holding it. Look at that, hanging on for dear life. How about that? That's a savable panel. Just uh, buff it out, it's perfect. Wall art. <laughs> Should I save it? This is a terrible one. How about that, guys? I think we had to uh, sweep up before we go under there to take loose the bolt motor bolts I think I'll uh, maybe I'll finish off those quarters just so they're not gonna get cut on that I see this was one guy said uh, commented I think it was uh, Everett on the Samba he says I like them rusty where I can you gotta tell people don't cut yourself <laughs> there you go yeah it's wall art look at metal stack oh look they already it's already been repaired once my goodness wow are you sure are you sure we should save this thing i think i'll just call the truck out scrap guy right no ain't happening yeah they did a nice little lap weld in there so don't tell me nobody ever does that beat it up accordingly We're gonna need some shortcuts on this thing here to get the motor out of this. Oh shoot, we got the broom using the broom to hold the engine up. I mean, hold the engine lid. <laughs> we have to get the other broom. Yeah. I'll just show that. Savable bumper. Only got a couple of rust holes in it. <laughs> Just a couple of rust holes. Keeper. All right, I guess we gotta get underneath this thing somehow. Oh. What'd you pay for this thing? I'm not saying. <laughs> well, half of it's on the ground. Yeah, I think most of it just fell to the ground. Right here. I know I got... Uh... Crazy. Didn't look like this in the pictures. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did. I, was, I didn't buy it for pictures. Some, my friend did. <laughs> and he got it there and he goes, oh, I didn't think it was this bad. <laughs> I looked at it and said, oh man, dude, that thing's terrible. Well, we're just trying to do it. We just think it'd be fun for videos, really, to do this thing. Plus, it, it's just history, you know? I just think this is a huge part of history we're going to try and re replace. Okay, should we uh, do the, I, I'm trying to think here. 
Should you do it the hard way or the easy way? What do you guys think? Hard way or easy way? I'm thinking maybe easy way. We'll see what that is. Yeah, yeah if we were a shop, I guess we would have to save this for the customer, right? You're supposed to keep all your old stuff <laughs> and give it to them. <laughs> That's California law, you know? If you uh, do a repair, you're supposed to keep the old parts. How about that one? How about that one right there? Let's uh, save this one for him. Yeah, that's partly usable. <laughs> this is, this is going to be fun. All right, so here it's out. I mean, look at this here, frozen. You know, what's weird is on this one, it's, I, I think it's a six volt, let's look. Is that a six volt? Uh, and it has a fuel shutoff solenoid. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. And it, it's the shape of the 30 pick one or the old 40 horse carburetor. Look. What is it, 30 pick one? I see P I C T. Or is it just P I C T? 28 P I C T with a fuel shut off. Oh. Do you think maybe they put that in there and it's supposed to have the regular one? I don't know. Like maybe they took out their regular uh, idle solenoid and put a fuel shutoff one in there. I don't know. Will they fit? Yeah. I guess. I think that's what. They, that's probably what they did. Look at this junk. You guys can see that real good. It's hard for me to tell, but you guys can see. There's a lot of stuff in here. Rust. Is that a snake skin? Wow. In the crevasse. Now you know why we cut the top off. You don't know what's in there. Yeah. So it's weird, it has a 180 flywheel. This one. I think somebody has changed the motor in it. It's been rebuilt. It's been changed. It's been rebuilt. It has an X on the case. So, let's see if you see here. I can't even know if you can read that. There's an X on the case there. Huh. Look at it. It's even got a tag on the carburetor, too. They're almost always gone. Almost looks like it was a rebuilt put in something else. 
Yeah, it says the X on the carburetor too. And they took it out and put it in here because the Emco plate shows this one had a 1500. So it's probably not the original engine. And it's got stale air. And this guy, that's like an early. This is like a 61 40 horse. Or yeah, 60. 60 was that first year? 60 was it was 36. So 61 40 horse would have had all this correct tin on it. Interesting look at the motor, but the bucket truck's a 62. I think 62, didn't they change to the other heater boxes? That's what I thought. I thought they did. But those are still there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that ground cable. And it's connected to the engine like a... Like a... Uh, I think it's add-on. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, he just made that. It's a, weird. Looks like an, it's an offset. Yeah, but it's offset. It's it, it, it looks like it had a, a cable clamp right here, look. Yeah. But it's an offset. Weird. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those either. Interesting piece. But it is a 40 horse and these things came, most of this truck was supposed to have a 1500. Let's look inside the engine bay. I was going to show you guys underneath the case. Maybe we'll flip it up on this end. How bad it is. Look how bad this is. I got good luck. Kind of interesting. I, I let's see what this is. I don't know what that is. Mechanical shut off or? Huh? It's for the hydraulics, and it's weird. The belt for the hydraulics was going, so this thing would just run all the time. Seems like it kind of be a drag on the horsepower, wouldn't it? You know, the later model stuff that bucket trucks that I've had, they either the ones they have a they have a like a air conditioning clutch type of thing to turn it on and off so it's not running the whole time but in the old days there's the vent plate still there and uh, in the old days they had that style this thing's got looks like it's running all the time but it's really weird I don't know what this thing is maybe it's a press relief valve so it doesn't build up too much pressure as the engine RPMs rise. Because one of the things I found out on my bucket trucks, if I'm running the pump all the time, it'll burn the pump up. You know, like if I left my pump on and I started driving away, it would burn the pump up. So the RPMs, it's just not meant for that. Look at this frame. Oh my goodness. That is wasted. I don't think there's anything much left of the frame. Just gonna get it apart and really look at it. It's got a full case tranny in it, which is correct, probably original. Um, I don't know, frame horns and all that are all shot. It's really crunchy, look at that. Wow, the frame horn there, the top of that. It's just, well, and maybe it's just dirt. We'll have to just get it apart and look at it. Like I said, I don't know. Crazy. A lot of work here. All right, so here's a close-up. This is why it won't. We can do run. Look at that. I mean, the studs just falling out of there. Look. Just totally eroded. You see the crud falling away. I mean, you take that thing apart, it's probably, oh, look, there's still stuff falling. It's like oozing. <laughs> yeah, I think this one's a winner. This is a good motor blow case, I think. What do you guys think? Should we do a motor blow? I kind of want to do one. I think it'd be fun. Motor blow, you just put it together and try to run it with the throttle full, wide open with no oil. And see how long it runs. We used to do that a long time ago, but now parts are so expensive. Nobody does them at the shows anymore. 
but I thought it'd be really fun to do one on YouTube. Tell me what you guys think on that. And uh, Anyway, we'll just uh, probably just end this right here, and then I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we're going to do a tear down on this engine so you guys can see what's inside. I think you'd like to see that, you know, just for fun. It's old tear down, tear down the old engine. It hasn't been tore down in, what, probably 50 years or so. 30 years, 50 years. And it's been out in the weather, obviously. Look at the bottom of that. It looks like it's just been, this thing's been like in the dirt or something for a long time. So it looks like to me. All right, I'll talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.